Alright, this is Jace Pearson, 806 HSSE Tour, 2015. We're out here in Floyd Data. Last year, you guys had a successful season by all the counts. Went to the playoffs first round, lost in a bye just down to Wellington. You have a couple of key players back, Kai Baker among the likes. Can you get, assess the 2015 season and what we should be looking for in Floyd Data? Yeah, our, our expectations to be back in the playoffs. Uh, we've got seven guys coming back on offense and we lost some key people. But we got to have people step up and take those. That's every year. Yes. People got to step in and take those positions. Got eight guys coming back on defense and uh, ought to be a lot better on both sides of the ball. Uh, expectations are to get, get past that first round. And get, you know, ultimately we want to be in, in Houston playing that state championship. Yes, sir. But to do that, we've got to get through district, which is going to be uh, tough. And then we got to get through the playoff games. And so week, week by week, we got to show up and play. We can't take any weeks off. That's right. I saw uh, district last year. You guys finished third. Y'all had a good run in district, and that seemed like a formula district when you got New Dale, Abernathy, Health Center, Olton, Tohoka. So give us a give us a rundown on that district. Yeah, that's a uh, it's going to be a week in and week out. Now, we got to show up and play every night. Uh, you know, Abernathy, New Dale been in playoffs year in and year out. Uh, we need to get to where we're doing that. We, we can't take any of those others for granted. Hope is going to be better. Hope is going to be better. Health Center is going to be better. We better show up and play every Friday night. Yeah, I went to, I actually came and watched the game against Abernathy. You guys hung in there with them, you know, just a little bit of team at the end, but you hung in every game. You know, you could have won all five district games, you know, you just three and two. I looked at your uh, non dish girls this year, pretty tough. I liked it. You know, you're at Seagraves, of course. And can you describe to me, I guess, the the Floyd County Championship, you know, the rivalry with you and Lockney. That seems to be, you know, a big a big cause. So can you describe that to me? It, it's it's a it's a big deal here. I mean, Floyd County, it's always been been a big deal to the, to the communities. And uh, it seemed like it might be a bigger deal to the parents than it is the kids. But that's fine, too. Uh, it's a big deal to our kids. And uh, it's one of those situations where it doesn't matter where anybody's ranked. Uh, somebody was telling me back in the late 70s, Florida Ada was ranked number two. Lockney was ranked uh, 184 or something like that. Lockney wound up beating. So it, it's not about ranking. It's about the Floyd County Championship in that game. But what we've got to understand is that game is make, doesn't make our season. It's not even a district game. That's right. We want to win it just like they want to win it. We want to have, keep the trophy here. But then we got to go win the rest of the game. Uh, that's not our season. Yeah, it means a lot to the community. It's a big deal, but that's not our season. Our season's district and past. That's right, the playoffs. So, uh, who, who should we be looking for besides, I say, Kai Baker? Name us some key players, you know, that we should be looking out for this year. Uh, Angel Lorenzo's back on the offense line. He's started for for two years. He's a senior. Okay. Uh, he's going to be one of our key guys on the offense line. He also plays defensive line. Josh Gonzalez the same way. He's another senior that we're expecting a lot out of. All district both ways last year. And so Josh, we expect a lot of things out of him. Josh Costanade is another senior at center. Uh, can't say enough about Josh Costanade. He was playing tight end as a sophomore in the sixth game of the year. We had to have him come up and play center. He's been there ever since. Done a great job for us. Uh, Albert DeHoyes, returning linebacker, inside linebacker. Jesse Segura, returning cornerback. Abraham Perez and Sammy Segura, that would be good for us on both sides of the ball. We've got to have people stepping up. Kai, he's got to be able to do what he's got to do. Yes. He's got to got to all the physical abilities. He's got to fine tune it and make this offense run. He's also a catalyst on defense. JP Segura is another guy. I'm gonna leave people out, but uh, it's just we got so many kids coming back, yes. and we've got a good nucleus of kids. And I hope we can surprise some people in those last two games. Yes, sir. I think I, I think y'all are gonna go farther than y'all did last year. I'm, I'm looking at y'all, and y'all played great last year. And of course, you have great coaching key players and like I said I've seen you practice you stress defense fundamentals and discipline that's all you need to succeed so I appreciate you uh, giving me an interview let me stop by Floyd Davis yeah. and I hope you have a great year we'll be seeing you that second game we'll be out to cover y'all and y'all gonna yeah. see great so. come on yes sir all right. All right. thanks a lot yes, appreciate sir. you man thank you man